Okay, for this shot, you've missed a green. Um, once again, a little unlucky with your approach shot. This time, the pin's a little closer to the edge of the green than what you'd like, so we call it short-sighted yourself. For this type of shot, you'll want to take something with a little bit more loft. Um, I carry a 60-degree wedge for shots like this. We're going to play what's called a flop shot. It's kind of like an explosion shot out of the bunker. The objective of this shot is with the extra loft in the club, the ball will travel a lot higher and land a lot softer and not roll as far. Now this shot takes a lot of practice to get it down, so we'll go over the technique, so hopefully you'll have that and you can do some practice on your own. First thing you want to do is I open up my stance a little bit. Um, and when I mean open, my target line is that direction, right towards the pin. I'm opening up to about here, and what that allows me to do is I swing the club outside in towards the target, but I'm swinging it along my body line. That helps lift the ball up a little easier. The grip you want to keep in the middle, the weight, many thing on your weight, you keep it pretty much 50-50, but you want to make sure you're sitting down pretty good. You don't want to be up like this because you end up blading a shot across the green. And you're going to take a little bit bigger swing, and the objective of it is get the ball up in the air and land soft. You can see where the ball got up in the air, landed soft, and rolled right towards the hole. That's the objective of your flop shot. Whenever you short side yourself, it gives you an opportunity to get the ball close and not have to rely on bumping it through the rough where you get inconsistent bounces. Here's a putting drill you can use to help with your distance control. Um, I find this very helpful. First thing you want to do is pick out a flat part of the putting green where you have an opportunity and there's some room where you can take a little bit bigger swing. And what you want to do is just set up whatever normal setup you take, grip, and what you do is you try to take the exact same swing <clears throat> over and over again. The key is not to look up. Just feel the shot. See if you can get consistent. The objective here is to put eventually a hand towel over top of all these golf balls. And as you practice, you might have to start out with the beach towel, but as you practice, you end up with a hand towel. Not bad for those last three, but you get the idea. The distance helps you with distance control and distance feel. Now you can do this for a 15 footer, you can do this for a 30 footer. It doesn't matter. The idea, the idea is to be able to repeat the swing and get to feel for the distance control. I love to do this when I play a new course I haven't played or haven't played in a while because it gives me an idea on how the greens are rolling, how fast they're rolling. I take a normal swing at the course I usually play. It might go 10 feet. I play another course. It could go 6 feet. It could go 15 feet. It just gives you an idea to get feel the green speed as well, as long as help with your consistency.